In this setup guide, we walk you through how to use the desktop app with your Ninja Cast. For more info on setting up your Ninja 5 or 5 Plus with the Atom X Cast, refer to this setup guide. Once you've connected your Ninja Cast to your computer via USB-C, the bottom right-hand corner of the app notifies you whether your Ninja needs the source to be set to Atom X Cast or not. Once connected, and if the source is set to Atom X Cast, you will see the app spark into life with your four live inputs. Welcome to the Atomos Cast desktop app. Note that any changes you make on your Ninja will be reflected on the desktop app and vice versa. In the top bar, you have your Live and Rec buttons. Remember to tap the Live switch to enable output to stream. Tap Rec to begin recording. The file saves to the media inserted on your Ninja. So first, we'll look at the Switcher page. The Switcher page is where you can monitor your four live inputs, switch the show, and see a live program feed. The top left indicates each input and allows you to switch the video, audio, activate overlays on the inputs, and activate your inputs as pips. If in one-touch switch mode, tap the video icon on the corresponding input to switch. If in two-touch mode, tap to switch to preview, then tap again to switch it to the program. Note that you can also switch your inputs with the one to four keys. Tap the mic icon on the corresponding input to cut the audio feed from that source to the program. Here you can also activate audio follow video where the audio follows the video source. You can easily adjust the size and location of your picture in picture in this menu, which is reflected live in your program window. When an input is selected for picture in picture, its pip icon turns yellow. Tap it again to stop sending that source as a pip. Set the cut mode to one or two touch switching according to your workflow. If in two touch mode, an extra button appears, which you can tap to cut to the program when an input is selected for preview. Set the transition type to dip or cut. Set the dip duration and the fade or dip color. You can also set the audio input level to mic or level. Adjust your audio frame delay with the plus and minus icons and adjust your audio levels. Adjust the level for your mic line feed here and click the lock to degroup the left and right channels to set each level independently. Move the phone slider to change the headphone monitoring volume. Now we'll move over to the input page. Here you can see which input is your primary input, which sets the frame rate for the program. You can also name each input, see the video mode, as well as turn on your overlay presets and active LUTs. Note, tapping the top panel of each input Send it to the program feed regardless of whether you're in one or two touch mode, indicated by the input box turning red. Now we'll move over to the output page. 
Under Cast, you can see your project and stream output frame rate. You can also see whether FPS conversion is toggled on or off. The Monitor Out section allows you to change your view mode to Program, Preview or Multi-View. Note, this view only corresponds to your monitoring and not of the output stream. Set the record to Clean or Cast Program. Clean if you don't want to bake in your overlays, pips and transitions, while Program records the program as it was output. Select the codec you'd like to record in and set the compression level in the drop-down boxes from ProRes or Avid DNX. Moving over to the Overlays menu. Here, you can load up to 8 PNG graphics and configure them to your inputs according to your show's needs. Firstly, if you already had uploaded graphics to your NinjaCast, they will appear here. You can replace these in the app by swapping from the Overlays tab to the Graphics tab. Here, you can select a local file from your disk and upload it to any of the eight slots. The top left window shows a preview for your local file and the right window previews the graphic currently assigned to whichever slot you've selected. Both the local file and which slot it will be placed in can be seen. Click Upload to Unit to upload the file from your computer disk to the selected slot of your Ninja Cast. The upload status is displayed and the box disappears when the upload is complete. To set up a graphic overlay preset, navigate to the Overlays tab and select which preset 1 to 4 you'd like to configure. A green box displays around your selection. Note, you can also change the name of the preset in this menu. To set a graphic to a particular location target, click and drag the asset to the desired location. Toggle the drop zone location markers on and off if you wish. The graphic will then appear where you selected. Note, each graphic can only be placed in one target. Upload it again to add the same graphic to another slot and add it to your preset again at a different marker. Once happy with your preset, feel free to configure presets two to four accordingly. Once all your presets have been configured, assign the preset to an input in the bottom section of the overlays menu. Now we'll move over to the color menu. In this menu, you can configure the color information for each of your inputs. Input color set menu. Log conversion displays the currently applied log conversion for the selected input. Source this input is matched to, which we'll cover in the camera matching section. Creative LUT displays the currently applied LUT for the selected input. Here, select which input you want to configure on the left and assign a color preset or LUT on the right. Select from your available presets, then click apply to assign this information to the input. Or switch to the LUT file menu to upload a LUT from your computer disk. For setting up a log conversion preset. To change the log conversion to a fixed preset, select preset. Select the relevant camera, gamma, and gamut from the drop down boxes. Click apply. To clear current log conversion, click clear. For loading creative LUTs, to load a LUT from local disk, select LUT file. Browse to the LUT file and select it. Click apply. To clear current creative LUT applied to an input, click clear. To apply a creative LUT previously loaded to a LUT slot on the cast, select the LUT slot on the right. Click Apply, then click Clear to disable the currently applied LUT. LUTs. This mirrors the graphics menu page 
where on the left, you can navigate your disk to find a LUT. The top left window displays whichever LUT you've selected from your disk applied to your selected input. Change the input being previewed as you wish. Tap refresh to capture new still frame. To preview a LUT already loaded onto the device, select the LUT slot in the right window to show a preview above. To upload a new LUT, select it from your disk in the left window panel, select which LUT slot you'd like to upload it to on the right window panel and tap upload to unit. The upload box will disappear when the upload is complete. Camera matching. This window allows you to bring up two inputs and adjust their colors to match. The algorithm will adjust source image on the left to match source image on the right. The images should show the same scene with viewpoints as close as possible. For best possible results, we recommend prominently placing a color chart in the shot. Step one, use the adjust source drop-down box to set which source will be adjusted. A still frame is automatically captured. Step two, click refresh preview to capture a new still frame if needed. Step three, use the to match source drop-down box to select which source the adjusted source should match. A still frame is automatically captured. Tap refresh preview below the window if needed. Matching is triggered automatically after to match source is selected. The AI detects pairs of matching color patches and uses these to modify the colors of the left image to match the right. The user can cancel the automatic matching process at any time. Clicking Refresh Preview will force automatic matching to run again. Note, automatic detection may take 10 to 30 seconds to process the images depending on the performance of your machine. The matching patches detected by the AI are shown as dots with corresponding numbers on the images and scopes. These points can be edited by the user if desired. Note, the AI ignores under or overexposed patches. The color adjustment will be applied to the image on the left and the two images should now match. The original image on the left, before adjustment, can be displayed by toggling Show Adjusted, allowing the user to inspect the effect of the adjustment. The user can also inspect the color patches on different scopes using the different drop-down menus. Adjust the scope brightness using the slider. To apply the color match to the cast, click Apply. A LUT is created, uploaded and applied to the Adjust Source. To clear a color match, select None for To Match Source and then click Apply. The AI matching may occasionally produce inaccurate results, so the user can manually edit detected points and add new matching points to improve the results. The app will automatically update the color match whenever a point is edited. Left click a point to bring up the context menu. Select neutral point if this point corresponds to a gray patch. This may help with matching the white balance, but this isn't usually needed. Select delete to remove a point. The user can add a new point by clicking anywhere in the left image followed by the right image at the matching location or vice versa. Note, the user cannot create new points in over or underexposed areas. These areas are indicated by zebra stripes when the pointer hovers over them. As with automatic matching, manual adjustments are not uploaded to the cast until the user clicks apply. Now we'll move to the preview all menu. Here you can preview the color setup of all your inputs simultaneously. Toggle the Enable Camera Matches button to preview camera matches. 
toggle the Enable Creative LUTs button to preview Creative LUTs. Click Refresh Preview to capture a new still from all inputs. If you require more support, please visit adamos.com support. Until next time, go get creative.